Hello and welcome back to the final episode of Bay Achiever. As you can see here, we're in a little base I made, and this is actually at the other end of the minecart tracks down there. I came up past the spawner, and let me show you where we ended up. Plains biome, way far away from home. I explored a cave over there and just have been looking around, but pretty much I still have had no luck finding a dungeon for the saddle. Now that way would be where our house is. It's over a thousand blocks away though, so uh, yeah. So let me uh, use the bed down here, sleep to make it day, and I'll show you what my plan is for getting the saddle. Okay, so my plan is that I'm going to have to cheat a bit to get the saddle. It is just not practical for me to dig around looking for the saddle or a dungeon, hoping for a saddle, because I found two dungeons already, and they have not been easy to find. I've been looking around and haven't found another. So what I decided to do is I'm going to try using an x-ray texture pack to hopefully spot a chest or spawner so I can more easily find the dungeons I need without having to waste time digging around. I was able to actually find an x-ray texture pack for this version of Minecraft online, so I'll be using that, and I will show you what it looks like, then I'll go around and try and find the dungeon. When I find the dungeon, I'll switch back to normal. So I'll be right back. And welcome back as the world loads. As you see, this is what the x-ray texture pack looks like. It doesn't really say, hey, here's a dungeon, so obviously. And is that one? I can't really tell. It's kind of vague at times. You can see it spots my chest down there, but yeah, it's not super easy and actually can make it a bit more confusing at times. So I'll try and see if I can spot out a dungeon using this. And if I can, I think we have good enough gear. Actually, I probably should put some of this stuff away. But if I can, then that's what we'll be doing next. Okay, one thing I noticed that the cobblestone, that blue stuff down there, I made a staircase into this mine shows up as, well, blue. So I'm trying to look for any big blue boxy structures because that should indicate we found a dungeon. Although currently I have not found any luck in seeing such structures. Maybe I'm just not looking for them correctly. I mean, that almost looks like it could be one there, but I think that's just water and such. So yeah. Do we have one here? That's a spawner. Okay. Uh. Let me see if I can position myself directly above it, then I'll swap back over. And that might be another- yep, that's another spawner. Okay, so we found a few spawners at last. I finally realized what they look like, and... Yeah, okay, so I'll swap back over to the normal texture pack, and we'll find those. Okay, back to normal Minecraft as we dig down for the spawner. Now it may, or some people may not like the fact that I uh, cheat to get, oh god, I want to be back one more, but yeah, there we go, don't shoot me, ah, I said don't shoot me. Ah. Yes, the saddle! Oh. So yeah, we got the saddle. And yeah, as I was saying though, uh, some people may not like that I had to cheat to find the dungeon. I actually had no idea how plentiful they actually were until using the X-ray texture back there. But as you can see, it's not particularly easy to find one. If I did actually find this cave, I would have got it. No problem, but... Well, I didn't know where to look for it. I was looking around a lot and couldn't find any, and I didn't want to extend the series needlessly just because I couldn't find the last item we needed. So yeah, we got the saddle. 
And if we go to the achievement page here, that is the last achievement, ride a pig off a cliff. Now this is before carrot and stick though, and I also got a little lost, so hopefully we can find a way back and head back to our actual home. And then hopefully we can, uh, well, find a pig to ride off a cliff. No idea what that sound. Okay, I have my minecart here, and if I'm right, putting the torch. Whoosh, okay, now we're heading back on our minecart network. And then we'll soon be back at the house. And once there, we can use this saddle. And I think pigs might be able to be lowered if we... We'll see. Anyway, the idea is to try and get a pig near our house, which is on top of a cliff, and ride it off and hope that counts. So, yeah, I might want to put a little bit of fencing or such to help guarantee it walks in the right direction. Though we'll see. But we'll figure out how to do that when it happens. And if, hopefully if the pig does kill itself and... Does it go off a cliff? We can easily, yeah, get the saddle back. Because I don't want to have to find another dungeon. I really don't like that I even had an X. Oh god, oh god, oh no! Yeah. Okay, we're almost here. Let's see if I can. The, ooh. Yes, I didn't go flying. And for anyone wondering why I'm not just using buttons or such, and how I'm using torches instead, this track isn't finished though, so I'll have to walk. But uh, yeah, uh, I can't figure out if there are buttons. Only found levers and pressure plates, I think, and redstone torches. No buttons, so I can't make a button minecart thing if I can't get the button recipe to work. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just trying it wrong, but I tried to do wood or stone and no results pop up. Hey look, I think there's a pig there. So yeah, I uh, just made it back to the house here. I'm going to just sort away some of the stuff I brought back. Just like this stuff real quick, and then I'll look into getting a pig off a cliff. First, let's see if I can lure a pig with wheat. Or I not sure. I think everything was lured by weed in this version, and I really tried doing much animal farming though, so, uh... Okay, it's indifferent. Hmm. This might be a bit harder than I thought. Wow, that's a lot of mushrooms. But, yeah, for the moment I'm just trying to find, uh cliff with a pig near it and walk around and hoping more pigs will spawn because I can't find a pig near a cliff and I have no idea how to lure a pig to a cliff because the wheat did not seem to work at all for luring animals. <gasps> There's a pig! There's a pig up there and that's definitely cliff-like. Uh, how do I get up there? I have to get up there right now before the pig falls and kills itself. Come on. Okay. There we go. Come on, pig! I got when pigs fly, and I'm actually still alive. I thought that would probably kill me. Actually, let's go back to the house and review the series. Well, as night falls, this series is coming to a close. We have got all the achievements, plus the extra achievements we set for ourselves. We got taking inventory, getting wood, Benchmarking, time to farm, bake bread, the lie, time to strike, cow tipper, when pigs fly, monster hunter, time to mine, getting an upgrade, hot topic, delicious fish, acquire hardware, and on a rail. And one thing I just noticed that on a rail and when pigs fly are yellow in text, which I think are appropriate considering how hard they are. We also got our imaginary not yet released diamonds achievement here and 
we need to go deeper than nether portal achievement, plus several other things along the way. We built this pretty awesome house that I still really didn't do well for the roof. We have a nice little lookout slab roof. We have that awesome roller coaster we did for the on a rail achievement. Or minecart track, whatever you want to call it. We have a little buddy nether wolf here by our bedside. We got a bunch of resources and more diamonds than I ever would have imagined. Tons of food. There's the diamond armor. We even work we're working on a second house. So much stone, various stone, dirt, woods, miscellaneous stuff. Almost even got a full set of leather. An awesome mine network. And overall, I'm very pleased with the series. But the series is Beta Achiever, and now with this episode, I have officially ran out of achievements. So this is where this series will end. In the future, I may bring it back. I'm not sure how I could do that at the moment, but it's still a possibility. So if you want to see more of this series, and or if you want to see a revival of this series, I should say, post so in the comments and I'll look into it. I should note though that I did look into doing a beta modder series using mod a modded version of this version of Minecraft, but there's a little problem with that. I tried using the mods and I could not get it working <laughs> for some reason. I could not get it where the mod loader would even work properly. I think it might be because I'm using the new launcher and the f place the jar file stored is different than it used to be. So that might be why I can't get the mods working. Just because it's in the wrong place for what the mod needs. I'm not sure. I do plan to look a bit more into why that's happening. But uh, I doubt the beta modder series is really going to happen at this point. Because I still never got my hands on a copy of the original Aether mod. Which was for this version of Minecraft. And I really wanted to use that if I did a beta modder. And... There is no creative mode. I can't even open up chat in single player. So it would be very hard for me to even test what most of the mods do. So I don't see a beta mod series happening. However, I would be open to maybe doing a second version of Beta Achiever with uh, viewer suggested achievements to go after. Kind of like I added in the diamond and other portal achievement along with the house achievement here. So yeah, if you'd be interested in seeing a new version going after suggested achievements over the in-game achievements i would be or i might be interested in doing that well that pretty much wraps up this series i hoped you enjoyed it uh, i had a lot of fun going after all the achievements and playing in this earlier version of minecraft and uh, i hope you enjoyed watching it and maybe in the future i'll reincarnate the series with mods or just with fan suggested or viewer suggested achievements oh hello creeper but yeah, for now, uh, this is the last episode of the series. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.